from Studio 41 in Grand Central Station, New York City, The Morning Show, with Jack Parr, Charles Collingwood and the News. In her gray green clothes, deep with wonder, beyond the shore, to the isles beneath the winds, where the spice wood grows, I must know them all, or sleep no more. With no heart to give, Fanny, 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 not worth one tear you'll cry, Fanny, oh, Fanny. That, that's beautiful. That's Thank you, song. Mrs. Shattuck, for reminding us to do it again. That was the first song Jack did on the first day of the show. That's right. Jack, what a pleasure it's been to have you here. Well, you don't know what a pleasure it's been for me, and I want to personally right now thank everyone here, not only the audiences that we've had every day, but yourself, who has been very nice to me, and the crew in particular, because I, I can't tell you how I feel about it. They've really been wonderful to me, and I truly appreciate it. Betty and well, they're the greatest. We're always saying goodbye to somebody. <laughs> it's not me, it's Fanny. Huh? Or to myself, I don't know. I'm writing memos to myself now saying, goodbye, kid. <laughs> Julius LaRosa comes here Monday on the morning show, and certainly you'll be there. I hope you're right, Jack. I'd love to come. And, he, and hey boy, this, this guy really loves the show. He lives in Darien, Connecticut, and gets up about a quarter of four in the morning and drives how many miles? 52 miles. No greater love hath a man than <laughs> he drive on the parkway at four. <laughs> well, I want to say that um, I, you'll be here another hour for the Central Time Zone, but I, it's nice to do all our little bits uh, that we do when we're all together. See, all of America's together now. At least you have the opportunity to be together if you're not tuned in. That's just your own fault. But see, at the eight to nine period of this show, the Central Mountain and Eastern portions are, are joined. Any other time from 7 to 8 our time or from 9 to 10 our time, it's just separate little states, you know. This is the moment. It's 8.52 Monsanto's time. Here comes our girl Betty with one of the cutest dogs I've ever seen, Queenie the Weenie. <laughs> Made with Monsanto's Lustrex High Test 88 Styrene Plastic. It's five times tougher than ordinary Styrene Plastic. That means that Queenie can take a lot of pulling around and a lot of banging around. You know, toys made of Lustrex can really take it. Here's another, Carillon, the musical blocks. Now, I'm not much of a musician, as you well know, but listen. You play these little pieces, you see? And you all know that as Amapola. <laughs> oh, this is my day to break up, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that wonderful? And they won't peel and they won't chip, I'll tell you that, because they're made of Lustrex. Why not surprise and delight your children with these ideas in Christmas toys made of Lustrex? You'll find them economically priced at your favorite store. They bring you all the value and rich color of Lustrex, your best buy in plastics. Take the kids to see the Christmas displays before the big rush. You'll love toys made of Lustrex. Don't forget, it's made by Monsanto. Monsanto, where creative chemistry works wonders for you. Goodbye, East. Be sure and write. Don't look back, just go. Have a good weekend. in the
proceedings which begin in the Senate today, what is at issue is censure. The action has no legal status, but it's an official rebuke or reprimand. Now, censor, of course, means, uh, in the words of the dictionary, to examine written material or photographs with an eye toward deleting objectionable parts. McCarthy may be censured, but there is no move on foot to censor him. No one is going to, pre to attempt to prevent him from saying or writing what he wants to. The other big story in the news this morning comes from the Far East, where the 10 survivors of that American reconnaissance plane, which was shot down by Russian MiGs off the coast of Japan yesterday, are back in Tokyo this morning. The captain of the ship, Anthony Fife of Chester, Pennsylvania, says he's certain that he was still over Japanese territory when the attack occurred. Fife says that he did not return the MiGs fire because he thought he might be able to finish out the B-29's photographic mission over that end of the Japanese island. The attack occurred just a few miles off the east coast of Japan's northernmost island of Hokkaido. The 11-man crew bailed out when the plane caught fire. One identified crewman was dead when rescuers reached him. Our State Department has already sent a protest to the Russian government in Moscow. The attack came shortly after Soviet Premier Malenkov spoke of peace and friendship with the United States at a huge, lavish dinner in Moscow celebrating the 37th anniversary of the Bolshevik Revolution. At that same dinner, our ambassador to Russia, Chip Bolin, held a long conversation with Malenkov and also with Soviet Foreign Minister Molotov, but he later told newsmen that no business was transacted. Here at home, a lengthy labor dispute between atomic workers at Oak Ridge, Tennessee and Paducah, Kentucky, uh, has been settled. In Paris, a 49-year-old songwriter from San Francisco has flown nonstop from New York to Paris in a small Piper Apache. The pilot, Max Conrad, completed the trip in 22 hours and 23 minutes, which beats Lindbergh's time. But possibly the greatest aerial feat of the day took place at Eagle Bay, New York, where this contraption was rigged up for a flight into space. All it is is a plywood seat and 80 weather balloons. And it got its owner, Garrett Cashman, more than 10,000 feet into the air. Cashman pulled the stunt to qualify for a Civil Aeronautics Administration experimental certificate to fly his strange craft. Cashman took off over a lake so that he would drift back over dry land, but it was more than a drift because he finally came down more than 50 miles away. How do you get a rig like this back to Earth? Why, by bursting the balloons with a slingshot, of course, which is just exactly what Cashman did. Well, that's the news, and here's our host, Jack Parr. Thank you, Charlie. It's 38 minutes past the hour. Monsanto time. You know, there's lots of talk going on right now about a wonderful new product made of Monsanto's versatile Ultron vinyl film. Contact is the name of this exciting new self-adhesive plastic that you can buy by the yard. What does it do? Well, it covers, protects, decorates practically any smooth surface. Now look over here. I want to show you this over here. This here is contact here. We're going to finish up this uh, dado effect. Just You just cut ta contact in uh, strips of the proper length. You gently peel off the backing here. The rest is very simple. And there you have it. It's very simple. You just press contact to the surface you want to cover, and it sticks. No water. No paste, no special tools needed. And remember, because it's made of Ultron, contact is waterproof. It wipes clean in a jiffy with just a damp cloth. That's contact available in a wide choice of patterns and colors. Look for contact, made of Ultron in your favorite department store. And whenever you buy vinyl plastic products for your home, make sure they're made of Ultron, a product of Monsanto where creative chemistry works wonders for you. There it is, contact. Use it myself, I'll tell you what I did. This weekend, this, this is a red and white stripe here. Put it all over my files at home. My office files, you know, fingerprints were always on them, they're green files. I tried varnishing them and that wasn't a very good idea. So I just put this on all over the files and it makes the office very gay. And so I worked all weekend myself and I know about that. Well, this is the Battle of the Booms, I see. 
looks like something from Orson Welles. Don't try and hit me with it. We, uh, at 40 minutes past the hour, let's see what we have here. Oh, we've just obtained a list of American television shows which are to be shown in Europe, together with the names of the people who will be appearing in them. I'm sure you'll agree, as we do, this is a perfect casting. Come in. <sighs> television shows are going to go over to Europe with these new stars. Did you know that? No, I didn't. American know shows. Wonderful. The first show is Adventure, starring Porfirio Ruborosa. <laughs> and there's Life with Father, starring Errol Flynn. Mama with Liberace. <laughs> Down You Go, starring Christian Dior. <laughs> See it now with Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and finally, Two for the Money, starring Ava and Zsa Zsa Gabor. <laughs> That's pretty good, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Is he up to the respect of the sound again? Yes, yes. I'm very ashamed because I think that maybe mothers and kids at watching think that this is the way I drink. But it's a sound man who has nothing else to do. We must find something for him to do, yes. <laughs> oh, you're in I think it's magic time here. Where's Poopy? Hi, Jack. <laughs> oh, you look great. I, I think that's just, just charming. Go over there where the, we can read. <laughs> Well, uh, Jack, it's, it's good to see you, Jack. Yes. You know, you haven't done any, any magic tricks in a long time. No, no magic tricks, huh? No magic tricks. So this morning, I want to show you one of my famous tricks. Reggie Van Campo, you go ahead and show us one of your fa favorite tricks. Well, <clears throat> don't touch my tricks. Do, do your trick over here, please. No, I, I don't bother with your trick, do I? Because mine will go off. There. Do your trick. All right. Never uh, mind the script. Well, I'll no, not do no, that. Let's go to the script hey, because no. I started the whole weekend, this whole thing. I well, I, I don't think it's worth well, it, frankly. Let's read the whole thing because I know my lines. Well, I don't know mine. <laughs> I know nothing about it. Let's see the trick. Well, I'll tell you what, I can pull a rabbit out of my hat. You can pull a rabbit out of your hat. <coughs> That's and, right. And you learned this over the weekend. Huh? Yes, I remember when we used to do it, remember? Yes, I know. Two years ago. Yes, all right. When you were available. <laughs> <laughs> Ahora tengo que hacer una cosa aquí, tengo que hacer una, una magia web que se llama Abra Cadabra, ten mucho cuidado, Abra Cadabra con sombrero, con pues, rabia, Abra Cadabra, rabia, Abra Cadabra. They're staring. Give me a chance, I'll make him laugh again. Well, I, I, I think I missed, Jack. Yes, I think I you did. I don't think I said the right word. No, I know you did. May I try once again? Oh, by all means. Abracadabra, los muchachos, la rabbit. Abracadabra, abracadabra, needleman. <laughs> no rabbit, no jokes, no laughs, no nothing. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm, I'm... Once I'm, more you can try it. Just once no, no, more. I'm embarrassed, Jack. I, yes, I... I, I well, uh, I, I miss, I miss again. The third floor is embarrassed, yeah, I'll tell you I, that. I, no, the third floor is still sleeping, but I tell yes. you, I'm still... I, I'm embarrassed. I, I think I'll kill once myself. I miss again, I'll kill myself. If you... Oh, no, you need to do that. No, I, I mean it. I mean, I feel If you miss again, you're going to be... You, proud. I feel you're going to shoot yourself. Is that right? I'm embarrassed. Once again? If you miss this time, you'll shoot yourself, huh? Vamos a ver ahora que vengan los muchachos, por favor, que abra cadabra, que rabia, rabia, abra cadabra, venga, rabia, abra cadabra, rabia, abra cadabra, rabia. 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 I'm embarrassed. I think I missed again. Yes. I think I killed myself. All right, go behind me. <laughs> he probably will. Be. Well, I miss again. <laughs> oh, what a bum. <laughs> Somebody was horsing around with my magic. Somebody was fooling with my tricks. Oh, somebody's a very cute guy.
which does not appear in the committee proceedings is the all-important evidence that the junior senator from Wisconsin was fighting a conspiracy. A misdeed by an individual against an individual is one thing. The struggle of an individual against a conspiracy is quite another matter in fact and in law. To bring a censor resolution against a senator while ignoring a conspiracy against him is like bringing an indictment for murder against a private citizen while ignoring the evidence that a goon squad has made nightly attempts to murder him, his wife, and his children. This morning, Jenner says that he's going to ask the Senate to kill the censure motion. Meanwhile, Republican Senator Francis Case, a member of the Watkins Committee, has broken ranks with his committee colleagues and withdrawn his support from one of the two counts on which the group recommended censure. That's uh, the one that has to do with General Zwicker. McCarthy says that Case's action is an important development, but that he still thinks the censure motion will go through. Well, as our correspondent Austin Goodrich in Scandinavia reported to us a few minutes ago, the first commercial flight over the Arctic has been completed successfully this morning. The Scandinavian airliner set down at Copenhagen, Denmark, seven minutes ahead of schedule after flying over the top of the world from Los Angeles uh, on the first uh, regularly scheduled Arctic uh, flight. A heart attack has ended the life of one of America's most respected and best-loved actors. Lionel Barrymore died last night at 76 in Hollywood. He was the patriarch of American actors and had been in ill health for the past two weeks. Well, that's our news as it shapes up so far in the morning. And here once again is our host on the morning show, Jack Parr. Thank you, Charlie. 38 minutes past the hour now. Say, do you want to see a wonderful little town? One your youngsters can build themselves? This is it, Block City, built out of scale model blocks made of Monsanto's Lustrex styrene plastic. There, it's a real educational toy. Give your, your youngster for Christmas. See, they all fit in together like this. We have one at home, lots of fun. Here they are, they're beautiful. The colors are bright and, uh, and sparkling because they're made of Lustrex. They won't chip, they won't peel. That bright Lustrex color it goes all the way through, and you get actual blueprints with, with your little block city. See? It tells your youngster how to build houses from foundation to roof. So beat the Christmas rush and give your youngsters an extra special treat this year. Take them to see block city construction sets now while the Christmas store displays are going up. You'll find them at department and variety stores everywhere, and you'll really love them because they're made of Lustrex. Lustrex is made by Monsanto. Monsanto, where creative chemistry works wonders for you. We have one of these at home. Betty? Okay. Um, you know of something, honey? Did you remember when uh, you were a child, the great thrill when you were, say, five, six, of going to a department store at Christmas time? Is There's there anything in life to compare with it? Nothing. I used Absolutely to go to uh, the greatest feeling in the world. Was it the JL Hudson Company in Detroit? Oh, that's a big oh, and they yeah. have a big toy. Crowley park. Milliners in Detroit. I remember that yet. Gosh, what a thrill! To see Santa Claus. Oh, where'd you go? In Cincinnati. Uh, well, no, Maysville, Kentucky. Well, when, when we were in Maysville, we went to. There's only there are only a couple of places like Sears Roebuck. Yeah. One. <laughs> and Santa was they there. They have Santa Claus at Sears Roebuck. Sure they do. Sure. Montgomery Ward, everyone. And the bicycle and the dolls. I'll never forget the dolls as long as I live because I couldn't make up my mind, you know, because when Santa would ask me, I'd have to give him a little description of the doll I want. I didn't Baby care much dolls. for dolls then. Didn't you? <laughs> but lately. <laughs> Funny how boys change, yeah. huh? That's right. And, you, and you're working with erectus sets now. You just <laughs> have to Man, I thought you'd never get here. Thank you, Jack and Betty, wherever you are. That was a tricky move, huh? Got me back in the corner now. Well, I can tell you it's about 41 minutes to the hour, Monsanto time. I want to show you something unusual in uh, Christmas decorations. I think you'll like it. Look at that centerpiece. Is it pretty? Really makes the table, doesn't it? The secret's right here. These crystal pine trees are made of Monsanto's brilliant Lustrex styrene plastic. Looks like expensive cut glass, doesn't it? See how the clear, sparkling Lustrex reflects the light in the room. And with the tiny ornaments, it gives you the effect of a real lighted Christmas tree. And because they're made of uh, solid lustrex, 
They're just beautiful. The branches can, can lift off like this. You can wash them off in water and they keep bright and shiny for many Christmases to come. You really ought to see and get several of these crystal pine trees this Christmas. They're so inexpensive, time's running short, so pick up some of these wonderful new Christmas decorations today. You'll find them at department and variety stores everywhere, and you'll really like them because they're made of Lustrex. Lustrex is made by Monsanto. Monsanto, where creative chemistry works wonders for you. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Well, I have something for you today. I'm now, don't worry, man, don't worry. Let's not fight over who's gonna handle me now. We have plenty of cameras to go around. You're excused. I got Bob, the, the high-strung cameraman I have on this one. <laughs>